After 20 years in prison, a Hampton man is free thanks to a conditional pardon from the governor. Darnell Nolan and his co defendant received conditional pardons from the governor, but the co defendant remains behind bars. Center News Science Regina Mobley has an update on what a civil rights group calls an egregious case of racism in the justice system. Regina? Well, Anita, you remember the Stevens case. He received a four digit sentence of 1,823 years. He was pardoned in December, and Nolan was pardoned last week. Nolan is home, but Stevens remains behind bars. On his third day of freedom, after 20 years behind bars, Darnell Nolan has a message. It's a blessing, and I just thank everybody that was involved in this process. The process started last year when the NAACP investigated the case of co defendant Lawrence Jacob Stevens, who was sentenced to 1,823 years in prison for a 2001 robbery in York County. This chart shows the punishment given to the white mastermind of the crime versus what the two black co defendants received. Stevens was pardoned in December. Nolan was pardoned last week and was freed on Friday. I am so thankful for all of you. I love my son. I love y'all. Stevens remains behind bars because of a mandatory re entry program. Nolan calls the conditions inhumane. Their advocates are demanding answers. He is enduring more punishment than he was prior to the pardon happening. He has been sleeping on a hard gym floor for 10 days now. It is cold in there. We're going to reach, we're going to reach out to the governor's office, mm -hmm. the secretary of the Commonwealth, and the secretary of, of the uh, public safety, Brian Moran. This afternoon, I reached out to prison officials who told me prisoners sleeping in the gym were given mattresses and bedding. And he confirms COVID-19 cases have delayed the re-entry program. I will have much more on this case this evening on wavy.com. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side. Thank you, Regina.